Okay, so now the poly structure of a Z sphere. Okay, now um, if you still have a Z sphere out, just basically get rid of it. If you want, you can initialize Z brush and hit yes. Okay, what I want to do is start out with a fresh Z sphere, click and drag it out, and hit edit. Okay, I immediately want to go to transform and activate symmetry. What I want to show you is the basic poly structure on a Z sphere and how it works. This line represents the horizontal axis or x axis of the z sphere. And you can see the green dots kind of represent where I'm going to draw the next z sphere. So let's click and drag it out. And let's go to the move tool and move it out just a little bit. Okay, now hitting A on the keyboard and then frame will give me the example of the polyframe on the z sphere. Notice the polyframe makes a nice uniformity across the z-spheres. But if I hit A, and let's say I rotate it, let's rotate it up and hit A, what happens is this is now flipped on both sides. So you can see that the poly structure does not make sense in this axis. Okay, well that's what happens when the tubes cross. Remember Ghostbusters the movie? Don't cross the streams. Same thing applies to z-spheres. Here is good. If you hit A, you can see that the poly mesh maintains its its uh, uniformity across. But any time you get too far up, bam, gets this weird twerk going on. All right. So another thing. Let me just kind of go and shift, straightening out the z-sphere and kind of rotate this back and kind of straighten it all on both sides. So holding shift you can straighten it this way and holding shift here you can rotate and straighten it this way. Okay now if you hit A you see that it's got a perfect line going across. What you want to do is stay away from the rotating of the NZ spheres until you get savvy with them. Basically because if I rotate this just a little bit and hit A I have now twerked it. Now if, if you're meaning to do this within your poly mesh, that's fine. Just keep in ma mind that the sculptability of this becomes a little flawed at times. Uh, once it, keep in mind here, I only have a little bit of a polygon going on. But if I was to say have two million polygons all torqued like this, it starts losing its uniformity. So hit A and let's rotate this back. Okay, another thing that's kind of weird is if I sh click and drag on these and rotate them, they rotate just fine. But let's say I hit shift and rotate them here. Notice it's very, very sensitive now. In fact, a little tiny moving of on my Wacom tablet will send this stuff twisting to no end. Okay, so know that rotating this on this axis is kind of smarter than rotating it straight on which is kind of hectic. Okay, just keep practicing with these spheres before you start using them to make your base meshes. That's that's what I highly suggest. All right, so I'm going to leave this object out and in the next movie I'm going to kind of show you a little bit more on uh the basic structure or polygroup of this Z sphere.